So if you've been using Angel for a while and you're familiar with discussion forums and versions previous to 7.3, you're in for a happy surprise. They've really increased the functionality of this tool. The discussion forum or message board is a way for users to post, post messages and read each other or reply to each other's messages. And it's available in the content type. So if I add content and then I choose discussion forum, uh, it's going to come up with the standard tabs across the top that most items have. And I can give it a, uh, give it a title and directions. A lot of the, like I said, there are a lot of new, uh, new features, and you're going to see most of those under interaction. But um, I'll tell you here, we can set uh, a custom URL or a little icon um, that looks different from the normal discussion forum. We can also specify a page for help for students. So if we wanted to do a, a special help for this discussion forum, we could do that. We can also control who has access to it and who is tracked in using it, and uh, when it's available, who can do what. This is this do not allow users to view the item is so that you can lock it down while you're making changes to it, I guess, so that it's, it's there. It's just people don't see it. And you can also set up, if you've set up different teams in the, if you've gone to the Manage tab and then to the Teams editor and created Teams, you can set up um, different access for different teams. So maybe like team one can read and reply, but only, and team two can read but not reply or make new posts. Whatever, you can make those kind of decisions. Um, the interaction, like I said, we've had the discussion mode for a long time, but now there are all sorts of new things here. We can make this um, to where you, the student has to make a posting before they see other people's postings, or it's a private user journal, meaning that the the instructor sees all postings by all students, but students only see their own postings, so it's like each posting is a journal entry. Um, all kinds of different choices there, and I, I suggest you just um, play with each one of them. There's also different views now, too. So we can have um, nested views. and there, Actually, there are several views I'll show you when we get to the actual forum. And you could put a rating in for it. So the number of points when the instructor rates the discussion forum posting. Uh, with grades and ratings, the way discussion forums work is the the student or the instructor rates the forum, each individual forum posting. And then on the assignment tab, you've set up, if you were going to have this added to the gradebook, you've set up a gradebook entry here and said how many points um, it should be in the grades. And then when you go to grade the forum, it will take all the ratings that you've made of all the individual postings and apply those to the grading criteria to come up with a point total. Anyway, um, anonymous posting, you can you can either enable it or not enable it, make it a completely anonymous uh, form. Lots of, lots of choices here. There isn't much uh, different in the Automate tab than other content items, and I'm going to cover how automation and agents in another video. One thing to point out on the Assignment tab, however, is there is a new uh, scoring rubric. So if I enable this, I can tell it to uh, give a score based on a certain number of postings and replies uh, or by peer rating.